what's up collective what's going on with y'all happy wednesday everybody happy hump day and also happy beyonce day okay y'all know i'm a huge b fan today obviously it's her day it's her birthday um it's so funny though because one of my exes his birthday is today too and i always make the joke like your birthday is not important because it's beyonce birthday. <laughs> why am i telling y'all this i don't know but i always make that joke to him like your your day is not even important <laughs> it's beyonce day but nah shout outs to him too happy birthday to him he know who he is um probably won't even see this shit but anyways i'll reach out to him later to him happy birthday you know virgos are the only virgo men i swear like they the only ones that i can stay cool with no matter what like even if we date if we hang out if we together and we break up virgo men are the only ones that i could still have a relationship with of some sort whether it's just cordial friendship yeah 111 on the clock or whatever they the only ones they the only ones everybody else it's like they end up hating me <laughs> anyways y'all why am i telling y'all this some of y'all could be dealing with a virgo maybe somebody birthday today as well happy birthday shout outs to you you're a very special person you share a birthday with beyonce um but anyways happy wednesday y'all happy hump day happy humpy 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 humpity hump hump day i hope you guys are feeling well sending y'all lots of love and positive energy sending positive vibes your way collective thank you for being here make sure you thank father god for this beautiful day today all right and on that note father god we thank you for this beautiful day thank you for all that you do in our lives thank you for waking us up today Holy Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for the collective today? What is it that they need to know at this time? Please allow me to see things clearly. Father God, Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful and handsome divine collective? What is it that they need to know? Please cover, shield, protect me and the viewers that are watching this for their highest good. Protect me as I channel this energy. Any negative energy being sent towards me and my channel and all my viewers shall be reflected upon his rightful owner immediately tenfold holy spirit please block out any negative energies want to interfere with the accuracy or the delivery of this message what is it that you have for the collective today what is it that they need to know father god holy spirit and angels what is it that they need to know somebody here could be watching you celebrate okay we got the page of swords to the six of wands Somebody here could be watching you celebrate something. This could be somebody of a different race. You may be melanated. This person could be from... Let me not even go there. Somebody here could just be of a different race. All right, let's see. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? <laughs> what is it that they need to know at this time? Please and thank you. God, Holy Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for my beautiful and handsome divine collective? Let me get two more shuffles. Why are you so obsessed with me? I'm channeling Mariah Carey. Why are you so obsessed with me? If somebody's obsessed with you because you could be in the spotlight or you could be somebody receiving good news, receiving a lot of attention. Yeah, this person's a fucking hater. <laughs> Look at this shit. Yo, somebody here, big mad, bro. Queen of Swords in the reverse, Five of Cups, the moon reverse. This could be a Pisces or an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person could have strong air or Pisces in a chart. Somebody here could be like a Pisces sun with an air moon or an air sun with a Pisces moon or some shit like that. Somebody here, big man. Ooh, Queen of Swords in the reverse, why you mad? Tell them why you mad, sis. <laughs> Somebody here is like seeing y'all being celebrated or having some victory here and they mad yeah queen of pentacles in the reverse this person could be an earth sign as well whoever this is is giving me a gold digging energy here. a gold digger a jezebel spirit queen of pentacles reverse queen of swords reverse the moon reverse this is somebody that could have been spreading rumors and lying on y'all whoever the queen of swords reverse is this person is a liar this is a troublemaker this is somebody that gossip a lot and this is somebody that's side-eyeing you at this time. But they heavily burdened and weighed down. They salty. 
Whoever this Queen of Pentacles reversed is, Queen of Swords reversed. This person is salty. Oh, they salty. They super salty. Panini press. Big, mad, and stressed. Oh, man. Yeah, you're receiving in a major way. Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands collected. And this person is mad. Queen of Pentacles reversed, Queen of Swords reversed, the Moon reversed. Somebody here could be a Pisces, an Air sign, or an Earth sign. Whoever this person is, child, heavily burdened and weighed down watching you. And like I said, this person is somebody here. Oh, they tired too. They restless. This person is not sleeping well at night. And somebody here could be having bad dreams as well. Somebody here is like, they not getting enough rest. They're very um restless. Very like, um... I don't know uncomfortable like they can't they can't find a comfortable position in bed like this person be tossing and turning somebody here could also be sweating in the middle of the night whoever this is they also going through mood swings like during the day this person is experiencing mood swings and then at night they can't even get comfortable <laughs> like and this is somebody that could be checking up on you constantly collective like whoever this is this person watches you non-stop like it's a part of their daily fucking routine this person watch you like they use the bathroom you know what i'm saying like this is like an everyday all day thing like right? this person always checking for y'all whoever you are collective you receive it in a big way ace of pentacles six of wands yeah good news victory success yeah fortune yeah this is somebody that betrayed y'all okay and whoever this is they got the nerve to be holding a grudge against you somebody here could be a gemini I did say somebody here was an air sign. So for some of y'all, this person is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a Pisces, or somebody with the NHR. But this is somebody that could have betrayed y'all. And this this person is very bitter to see you in this positive energy. And it's like you stay to yourself. Whoever you are, you unproblematic. You could be a Virgo as well. Or you could have Virgo in your chart, highly aspected. But either way, you taking on this Virgo energy as the hermit. Shout out to all the Virgos out there. Happy birthday, Virgo. I'm going to do a reading for you today. But it's like, you just stay to yourself. Yeah, you celebrating. I told you, you got victory and success. Good news, recognition, reward, praise. You somebody held in high honor is what I just heard. Six of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Three of Cups. You a hermit, you a hermitess. You somebody that stay to yourself. I feel like you are unproblematic, and I feel like this bitch is a troublemaker. Whoever the Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and the Reverse is, this is somebody that's a troublemaker, a shit talker, a shit starter. They're very problematic. This person is in the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords and the Five of Cups. They could have got exposed for some lies that they were spreading about you, some gossip with the Moon in the Reverse. Something here has been brought to the light about this person lying on y'all in some way. And somebody here, for some of y'all, this person could be a Gemini here with this uh, Ten of Swords. I know that's Gemini energy. But yeah, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, Five of Cups is this person's overall current energy, okay? They disappointed, they in heavy regret, but I don't really feel like they in regret for, like, talking shit about you. This person's just in regret that nothing worked out in their favor, their lies are being exposed. This person is being seen as a fraud, as a shit talker, a troublemaker. This person is being seen as a loser. They're a lousy ass. And whoever they whoever they are, they working together with somebody that's the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So two fucking clowns here, two lousy motherfuckers here. A King of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody here could be an Earth sign, masculine, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or they got a strong Earth in their chart. But even if this masculine is not an Earth sign, this is somebody that's just money hungry. This could be somebody very egotistical, very prideful. This is somebody that's very vengeful as well as what Spirit just told me. So, collective, you either know this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse or you know this King of Pentacles in the reverse. But either way, they partnered up, they work together here. Whoever this King of Pentacles in the reverse is, this is somebody that could be trying to return to your life, but you can't trust them, okay? You cannot trust this King of Pentacles in the reverse. Five of Pentacles in the reverse to the Seven of Swords. This is somebody that's sneaky. They could be trying to avoid some sort of karma that they know is coming to them. They could also be trying to get away from this Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords in the reverse. They could be trying to sneak off away from her. Somebody here could have an Aquarius moon placement. But this is somebody that needs help. They may even need some sort of financial assistance. I truthfully feel like this motherfucker want to ask you for some money. Okay? No, gonna come over here and ask me for some money. No, ask that bitch for some money. <laughs> what movie is <laughs> what movie is that? The real ones know, okay? That's Friday, right? I just channeled that. Go come over. You think you're slick, motherfucker. <laughs> Go come over here and ask me for some money. No, ask that bitch for some money. <laughs> Whoever this King of Pentacles reverse is, this person could want to ask you for some money. 
but I just feel like they're not very straightforward. This person is sneaky, very conniving, very untrustworthy. They're not going to be upfront. This person is not a straight shooter. So I just feel like even if that's what they want, if that's their goal to get something from you, especially like some sort of money or something, they're not going to flat out like ask it. Or this person just going to try to finesse you into like giving to them in some way. Yeah, seven of swords here, five of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, this person trying to come towards y'all. But I just feel like you can't trust this person. Yeah, they with a karmic. This is somebody that worked together with a karmic. Queen of, and they karmic too. They all in the reverse. These motherfuckers is low vibrational, okay? We got a king of pentacles reverse, a queen of pentacles reverse, queen of swords reverse, queen of cups reverse. This is all the same feminine energy though, but she's just an empress in reverse, which is why she embodies all the queens reverted, inverted, excuse me. She embodies all the queens in a reverse. She embodies all the queens inverted because she's an empress in a reverse. So she's showing up as the queen of cups reverse, queen of coins in a reverse, which is the queen of pentacles. And she's showing up as the queen of swords reverse. She's a lousy ass. This bitch is a, she's a, this is a bum bitch. She could be any sign. We have air, earth, and water here, all in the reverse. Strong Pisces, strong Gemini, strong Scorpio. But whoever this bitch is, she's lousy. And she unhappy right now. She could be unhappy because she feel like this person is your soulmate. This is somebody that she feel like is your soulmate. So she feels like this person is your soulmate. <laughs> she feel like this person is making a choice in love to come towards you. Whoever this person is, though, they not, they not on your level, collective. They they vibrating low too. He in the reverse too. This masculine energy is in the reverse too. Keep in mind, we all have masculine, feminine energy. So apply the roles, apply the genders, apply the pronouns as y'all see fit. But King of Wands reverse and the King of Pentacles reverse. This person ain't no better than her. This is somebody that could be promiscuous. This is somebody that could be um, argumentative, combative. They definitely like this Deuce Bigelow, male gigolo energy. Like, that's what it's giving me. I feel like this is the same energy that came out in the reading like the other day. Like a Deuce Bigelow, male gigolo. She a gold digger and then this motherfucker got the nerve to be a, a gigolo. <laughs> like, they too, it, they too clowns here. When I tell you, it's just buffoonery. Like, these are two clowns here. Um, <laughs> But she feel like this person your soulmate. For some reason, she feel like this person is your soulmate. Or this person's goal is to come back towards you collective and make you believe that you're their soulmate. You the only one in the upright, sugar. You an alchemist. You showing up as the magician and the queen of wands. You could be a Gemini, a Virgo, or a fire sign, or you could have that in your chart. But you the alchemist, you the real deal holy feel, and you absolutely beautiful. It's something here about you just stunning. It's, um... You're very powerful, you're very magical, you're very spiritual, whoever I'm speaking to. Like I said, for some of you, you are alchemists that resonate with this. But your energy is so, like, um, it's, like, otherworldly. You understand what I'm saying? And so is your beauty. You are somebody that people just kind of, like, get mesmerized by or they just stop and stay at 13, 33 on the clock. Some of you could be born on the 13th of a month. Some of you could be born on the 3rd of a month. Somebody here could be 33 years old. Some of you may also see angel number 333 a lot. You definitely resonate with angel number 333. Okay? Holy Trinity type power. I'm telling you, you really definitely are super powerful. You are a master magician, a master manifester. And it's like this person is like... I'm going to go towards the collective and make them believe that we're soulmates. This person is desiring you sexually. Like, this is how they want to be with you. They want to be booed up with you. This is somebody that want to light some candles and get it popping with you. This is somebody that want to bring the oil, you bring the candles, get it popping. Like, they trying to they trying to crack you for real. Fuck out of here. Who is this king of pentacles in the reverse? This king of wands reverse. This is a fraud. Right? Yeah, this is somebody that watches you constantly. But this is somebody that y'all need to avoid. Somebody here could be a Capricorn. This person could be a Capricorn. I did get Earth and Fire. They could be an Earth sign or a Fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But we got strong Capricorn here too. Whoever this person is, they was expecting you to like be in your feelings about them. Whoever this masculine energy is, this is somebody that expected you, powerful Queen of Wands, magician, hermitess, hermit, prophetess, 
they was expecting you to be in your feelings about them. This is somebody that was expecting you to be heartbroken over them. You a whole high priestess. I told you, you the real deal holy feel. Look how you showing up. Yo, you magical as fuck. You may be a herbalist, a medicine woman, a medicine man, a conjurer, a prophetess, an alchemist. Yo, you all of that. You all of the above. You feel me? You showing up as the hermit, the queen of wands, the magician, and the priestess. Like you the original Don Dada. Big Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. You can have that holly aspect in your chart somewhere. Everything working out in your favor. God is on your side. Luck is on your side. Your steps are being divinely ordained. Everything in your life is going to divine order. God's plan, divinely orchestrated type shit. Will of Fortune. Look at you. You're magnificent, okay? Darkness into darkness. The key to all mystery. Yeah, you got the keys. You know what I'm saying? You got the keys, okay? Something about a gatekeeper. You have the keys, collective. You somebody that can manipulate, like, time and space. Ooh. Some of y'all could be a medium. <laughs> What's up, Soul Tribe? What's up, Soul Tribe? I see you, baby. I see you, High Priestess. I see you, Alchemist. I see you, Hermitess, Prophetess. I see you. This person is codependent on your energy. They're praying for another chance with you. This person could even be wanting to marry you. They could be desiring marriage. But this person sees you as their wish fulfillment. Whoever this King of Wands reverses, King of Pentacles reverse, this person sees you as their wish fulfillment. They know that life would be very promising with you. They could have thought that this gold digging karmic Jezebel spirit here that they got with was the key to their success. But now they see the truth. They feel like you the key to their success. They know that a future with you would be very promising. I'm telling you, this person could even be seeing you as a prayer warrior or you somebody that got a strong connection to source. You somebody that has strong faith. You very tapped in. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're very tapped in. Very. And I feel like yo, your prayers get heard. They get answered. Like some of y'all got a direct line of communication with the other realms, the spirit realm, source, the divine, archangels, your ancestors. Your spirit team go Rambo over you. Um, God definitely listens to you. Like, he hear you. He listens to you. He show up for you. <laughs> the most high shows up for you. And somebody here is like, damn. Yeah, because you an earth angel. I cannot make this shit up, dog. You're an earth angel. This is this is why somebody here knows that you bout it, bout it. Like, you going to always be good. Somebody here feel like you going to forever be good because of your rank because of your obedience to the most high because of your faith somebody here feels like you're gonna always be good you got archangel um is it raziel or haniel i think it's archangel raziel yeah you got archangels that surround you angels surround you at all times and i literally child y'all know what i'm about to say I saw a meme because y'all know spirit communicates to me through memes. 18, 18 on the clock. Um, some of y'all could be born on the 18th of a month or the 8th of a month. Some of y'all could resonate with angel number 888. You could be seeing a lot of eights during this time, a lot of threes. But um, somebody here could also be 38. Somebody here could be born in 83. Somebody here could be born on the 11th. Somebody here could be born in November, August, or March. But I'm telling you, whoever you are collective, right? You, um... You have angels surrounding you at all times. What I was going to say was, I saw a meme. Because, you know, spirit communicates to me a lot through memes. I saw a meme yesterday. I posted it on my Instagram. And it literally said, angels surround me at all times. That's the energy you have. Magician, high priestess, temperance, earth angel, hermitess, prophet. You are somebody that angels surround at all times. You know, again, you're never alone, right? Like, you are somebody that the angels surround at all times. You literally have archangels that come fight for you. Like, you, they go to war about you. And this person is very unhappy because a cycle between you and them closed out. They know a cycle between you and them closed out. Whoever this king of wands, king of pentacles, and the reverse is that's watching y'all at this time, this person is so codependent. This is how they ended up with a gold digger in the first place. They done ended up with somebody that's using them. This Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this Pisces, this Earth sign, this whoever they with, this karmic, distorted, feminine that they got with, they know for a fact that this person is using them. But this is what they get because this is somebody that's a user as well. King of Pentacles in the reverse is also a user. They're both users. 
So this person got God, okay? You know how sometimes they say you can't swindle a swindler? No, this person is a swindler and they got swindled. This person met their fucking match, okay? A match made in hell, if you ask me, but this person definitely met, met their match, okay? This woman is like the female version of this masculine and he don't like it, okay? he He's the ultimate finesse and this motherfucker got bamboozled. He got finessed by Jezebel, by a karmic spirit, a gold digging energy. And they codependent on you, Earth Angel High Priestess. This person is codependent on you and your energy. This is somebody that wish that this karmic feminine could possess your angelic energy. Like, this person feels like you're their soulmate, you're their person. And it's like, they would have been okay with being with a karmic had your energy still, like, had they been able to, like, swap your energy for hers. Swap, yeah, swap her, yeah, swap your energy for hers. Like, this is somebody that could have wanted a karmic to possess your energy just so that they could feel like they still have a piece of you because this person feels very broken and very empty without having you around so it's like if i could if i could like transfer your energy to this karmic then i would be okay with not actually being with you in the physical because at least i still got a piece of you energetically it's some weird shit like that going on here this person is so unhappy nine of cups in the reverse nine of pentacles reverse they unhappy they codependent they need help she thought she was going to come up off of this man. He thought he was going to come up off of being with her. And they both losing a lot. These people are having like financial troubles or that's what's about to happen for them. Somebody here really want to make you an offer in order for you to help them. This is somebody that's not looking for love. They looking for help. You understand what I'm saying? It's giving hobo sexual. It's giving hobo sexual. Yeah, king of cups in the reverse. Yo, they both karmics. And this person had the nerve to be talking shit about y'all at one point. Whole time, you the real deal, holy feel. Anybody that truly know this situation and know what's going on that's connected to this person, looking at them like they a damn fool for allowing somebody to get, like, for allowing somebody like you to get away from them, people are looking at this person like a fool. Like, this could even be like their homeboys. Like, yo, you a clown for letting that empress go, that high priestess, that high priestess. Like that high priestess, that magician, that alchemist, that beautiful woman. Because whoever you are, you beautiful. Queen of Wands is somebody that's fucking beautiful. You radiant. Big fire energy in your chart. Some of y'all definitely have Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart. You a passionate, beautiful, power fucking, powerful fucking woman, man. Queen of Wands, magician, hermit, prophetess, high priestess, earth angel, temperance angel, prayer warrior, strong faith. Like, it don't get no better than this. Like having you, anybody that has you in a life are truly like a bless. You understand what I'm saying? Whether that's romantic, friendship, family, it don't matter. Business partner, like having you around is truly an asset. You bring a lot to the table. And for somebody here to actually like have a soulmate connection with you and the cycle closed out and they ruined it and they chose a karmic over you, this person is like, it's, it's mind boggling it's even mind boggling to people that that knows them that personally know this person and know what's going on here they like yo i would have never let that person go like you tripping bro <laughs> like that's how they looking at this person but this is so uh, this was destined to happen this way because this person never healed they didn't take the time out to heal to raise their vibration to meet you you understand what i'm saying this person can't be with somebody like you they're vibrating too low they showing up as the King of Wands reverse, the King of Cups reverse, and the King of Pentacles reverse. It's like wishful thinking for this motherfucker to be in this energy with you. This is what they want, but this is not what they gonna have. This is somebody that could be trying to come towards you and finesse you, but it's not gonna work. You too tapped in. You like, yo, it's something here about this energy. It's like you repel it. Like, your all of the angelic energy that you have within you and around you it re it's repelled by this person sent by their signature sent by their energy it's like no not him sis like that's how your angel is going to be telling you like nah not him sis yeah we know that you had a contract with this person but mm -mm, they they not right for you mm -mm, no look look how they showing up king of cups reverse king of wands reverse king of pentacles reverse and whoever they got with whoever they trying to get away from is in a reverse just like them. Look at this bullshit. Look at these two fools. 
He's showing up as the King of Pentacles reverse, King of Wands reverse, King of Cups reverse. She's showing up as the King of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Swords reverse, Queen of Cups reverse. Strong water, air, and earth energy for her. Heavy emphasis on the Pisces, Gemini, and Scorpio energy. Could be a Capricorn too. This man could also be a Capricorn. He could have strong Capricorn or fire, water in his chart. King of Pentacles, King of Wands reverse, King of Cups reverse. I just need y'all to see how these motherfuckers are definitely a match made in hell. They mirror in each other. Both reverse, both inverted. You the only one in the upright. And you got powerful fucking cards. Magician, high priestess, queen of wands, temperance, earth angel, hermitess, six of wands. Like, yo, life is good. These people, like, this motherfucker is like, damn, like, I, I, I should be over there with you. They're haunted. They feel haunted. They can't get you out of their head. This is somebody that can't stop thinking about you. This person could feel like they under psychic attack right now. Because they can't stop thinking about you. This is somebody that just can't shake you. You understand what I'm saying? This King of Pentacles, King of Wands reverse, King of Cups reverse, whoever this distorted masculine is, this motherfucker cannot shake you, bro. They can't shake you. Like, I'm telling you, this person feels like they're under some sort of psychic attack because they can't shake you. And whoever this bitch is, she's definitely under psychic attack. I'm telling you, she can't she can't even get comfortable at night. They both going through it. This person knows that you freed yourself. It's like, it's just... Somebody here could have a Sagittarius moon. Somebody here could be an Aries sun with a Sagittarius moon. Or a Sagittarius sun with an Aries moon. But somebody here is just like, damn, it's just wishful thinking. It's like, you see how this man is just looking at this shit? It's like, damn, that's my wish fulfillment. That's my, that's my dream over there. I wish I was on that boat. I know that boat is going straight to paradise. I know that boat is going to the promised land. <laughs> like, it's something here where this person is like, damn, I want to get free from this karmic. I want to free myself, nine of wands energy. I want to stand my ground and free myself. This person is feeling like a wounded warrior right now. This person is like, damn, that's my wish fulfillment over there. That high priestess, that alchemist, that magician, that earth angel, that I was supposed to be over there. Like, this person is fantasizing while with the karmic. They fantasizing about you collecting while they're with this karmic. They feel stuck with a karmic. This person wants to free themselves. They restless. This motherfucker restless, too. I'm hearing, I'm thinking of a master plan. <laughs> so this person is thinking of a master plan on how they're going to get away from this karmic. Not they thinking of a master plan. Shout out to Rakim. The real ones know. <laughs> but this person said they thinking of a master plan. I told you they got issues with their finances. This is somebody that feels stuck with this karmic because they may not have money to move around the way they want. So if this person was up at one point financially, it's not the same anymore. Their finances has definitely changed drastically. And it's like that definitely hinders them. That throws a monkey wrench in their plan to get to you or to even like be able to... Um, offer you anything like this is somebody that feels like they don't have the means to really offer you anything like this is somebody that knows that they can't really provide for you the way that you deserve to be provided for they can't um build right now like they don't have anything they don't even have anything to start up with this person can't offer you a solid foundation they showing up as the emperor in the reverse that's why they should, same way I told you this woman showing up as all the queens in the reverse, she's an empress in the reverse. This motherfucker showing up as the king of pentacles, king of wands, king of cups reverse, they're an emperor in the reverse. I was waiting for the emperor or the empress to come out in the reverse here. Like, this is what they are. They're two karmics here. And this person, their finances is jacked up. When I tell you this person's finances is jacked up, that's why they're thinking of a master plan to finesse you, to come towards you, to get you to invest in them. Yeah, King of Swords, they thinking of a master plan. I cannot make it up. This person want a family with you. Like their dream is to sneak off with you, have some sort of little rendezvous, and hopefully get you pregnant, get you in bed, get you pregnant. So that they could just run away from this comic and set up shop with you. Like this person is fantasizing about how good life would be being committed to you, being with you, having a home with you, having children with you. This person could even be dreaming about that shit, like literally dreaming about this shit. This person thinking about this shit so much, fantasizing about having a life with you so much to the point where they, when they go to sleep, they even see you in their dreams. They fantasizing about getting married to you, having a home with you, having a family with you. Like this person is like, yes, Ace of Cups. 
it's like yo i want you i want to be with you and this poor thing over here this whoever this karmic woman is she know that this person feel this way about you she do but she could be hanging it over this head hanging it over this person head you know the fact that they can't move around that they want the way they want this person could have lost the job or a business could just be slow for them if they work for themselves something here going on with this person finances they could have took a pay cut of some sort and she holding it over this masculine head like let's just say he lived with her is she holding it over his head that he ain't got nowhere to go like motherfucker you live with me you know what i'm saying you live with me you in my house where you gonna go back with your mama like she could even be saying shit like that to him because they argue and fight collective don't get it twisted and he like damn like if i could just make an offer to the high priestess to the empress the real empress and have a family with that person i'll be i'll be straight i'll be set for life i feel good i couldn't take my empress energy and give it to this karmic i couldn't transfer your abundance your finances to us my heart is like really with you I didn't do the self-work. I didn't heal. I didn't raise my vibration. I got tricked by a Jezebel spirit. Damn, man, I wish I was over there with you. Like, this person really wish they was where you at, collective. They feel like you where all the good shit reside. Yes, you the true empress. I can't make it up. Can't make it up. You the true empress. And this motherfucker is the emperor in the reverse. You see the difference here? Emperor in the reverse with the empress in the upright. This person like, damn, yo, you where all the fly shit at. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing but it's nothing but good love and fly shit over here. It ain't nothing but fly shit over here and blessings on blessings. Good yoni, you know what I'm saying? Good cat, all that. <laughs> like this person like, damn, I'm supposed to be over there. Yo, this emperor in the reverse is stressed. When I tell you this person is tight. Oh, somebody tight. This person is so tight. And what's so crazy is they got options, but they all low vibrational, just like them. All their options are trash. That's how they feel. Nobody compares to you. Look how you showing up. Of course, nobody compared to you. That's why I'm telling you, even people that know this person personally, they looking at this person like they're a clown. Like, yo, you fumbled, bro. Like, yo, you bugged out. Like, I wish that was my shorty. I wish I had a soulmate connection with so-and-so. <laughs> 32, 22 on the clock. Some of y'all could be seeing angel number 222 as well. This person got options and they all trash. They all full of shit. Like, the same way um, this woman, like, tricked them in some way. Because that's how they feel. They feel like this woman trapped them or tricked them. They thought they had a real one on 18. They feel like all their options is trash just like that. It's like the grass appears to be greener, but that's because it's fake. You know what I'm saying? Like, they feel like all their options are fraudulent. They all fugazi. They all washed up. They all trash. It look nice on the outside, but it's terrible on the inside. Somebody look beautiful on the outside, but they cat trash. They cat stank. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's a trick. It's a mask. It's a facade. It's fake. Somebody here like, damn, yo. All these options is trash. All these hoes that's checking for me, they all trash, man. <laughs> like, that's how somebody feel. Somebody here feel like none of these women compare to you. None of these women compare, for you, compare to you. They feel like you the uh, original Don Dada. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you the real one. You the one with the, um, with everything. Like, I'm telling you, this is somebody here that knows for a fact that you high ranking you outrank you you outrank all every woman they've ever been with and this person could have really did some wicked shit behind the scenes because like i said this person was in their feelings about not being able to connect with you the way they wanted to right because they're not in alignment with you this person it was no equal give and take in the situation some of y'all could have even walked away from this person in the past because they wasn't showing up the way they needed to for you whoever this person is they did some foul shit. They sent you the evil eye. They could have even sent you the evil eye along with this karmic distorted feminine. And now they both getting karma. She restless, having nightmares. Bitch can't sleep to save her life. He over here, his pockets is on E. His finances is just fucked up. It's like, damn. Yeah, this was an injustice. Somebody here could even have legal issues. Both of these people could be having legal issues that come up as well for some of y'all. Yeah, everything I'm saying is the truth. Ace of Swords. And this person want to come towards you and lie to you. You understand what I'm saying? 
This is, I'm telling you, you cannot trust this emperor in the reverse. This is somebody that want to take action, come towards you, and try to butter you up. The same way they got tricked by a Jezebel spirit, they plan on coming towards a high priestess. Let me just say this out in the open. This emperor in the reverse plans on coming towards a high priestess, an empress in the upright, and, and making them feel like, you know, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I love you. This could be somebody at a distance from y'all. This person plans on traveling towards you and saying, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Empress. I love you. I'm so sorry. We belong together. This is how they trying to be booed up with you. You can't trust this motherfucker at all. Nope. I wouldn't trust them. I would not trust them at all. Spirit is telling you, do not trust this person. Not only is this person not a vibrational match for you, their, their heart is not in the right place. This shit is not even genuine, okay? This is somebody that just need help. They codependent. Not a pinnacles reverse, not a cups reverse. Same way they living off of this karmic feminine here, they're going to be trying to live off of you. This person really want to trap you. This is somebody that could even be wanting to buy you a ring, put a baby in you, because they need to make sure that they're secure. Like, this is this emperor of reverse does not feel secure, I told you, it's giving hobosexual. It gave that energy off rip. This is somebody that don't feel secure right now. And they feel like they have to set up shop with a divine feminine. This person really going to put the hard work and effort into to be with you. This person also sees you as a hard worker. I told you, you could be a Virgo. Eight of Pentacles and a Hermit. Big Virgo energy. High Priestess Magician. Big Virgo energy. Big Libra. Big Taurus energy here. The faith card is the Hierophant in this day. You the one with the secure, solid foundation. You the one with the promise and future. I'm telling you, will of fortune, this person know everything working out in your favor. They, they, they know for a fact that you're going to be straight forever. Like, that's how they feel. They feel like the, your rank is so crazy. Your obedience, your discipline to your path, your calling, your mission, your purpose, your father, God, your creator. This person knows that your spirituality and your faith is unwavering. This person knows that your shit is solidified, is intact. Like they could have even tried to spiritually attack you and they getting hella karma for this shit. This person has no doubt in their mind that not only are you, all of the things that I said you are in this reading, you are 10 toes down. Like that shit is stamped. Like this is who you are and there's no changing it. This person knows for a fact, like, you straight. They like, yo, who you going to be with? Because they feel like whoever you going to be with, that person going to be straight, too. This is why they going to try to come in and finesse y'all. But if this person was smart, which obviously they not, but if they were smart, they would know that they cannot come towards you and finesse you. You a high priestess. Don't this person know that you could smell bullshit from a mile away? This person don't understand that you could pick up on the fakeness. You could pick up on the insincerity. This person is very insincere. Like, I'm telling you, this is not a genuine motherfucker here. I don't understand why this person thinks that you won't be able to pick up on this. Like, uh-uh. Don't embarrass yourself, baby. Stay right where the fuck you at over there in Karmicville. Go keep keep kicking it up. Keep, keep running amok in Babylon. Don't bring your sorry ass over here. You don't belong in this in this part of town. Like this is somebody here that really that's really gonna try to come in and finesse y'all. This person sleep around too. They're a fucking whore. Like whoever this King of Wands in the reverse is, this King of Pentacles in reverse, this person is a whore. They showing up as the Knight of Wands in the reverse now too. This person is disgusting. This is somebody that is sleep with anybody. They sleep with your fucking mama, your sister, your auntie, your cousin, your best friend. This person is sleep with anybody. Anybody that want the dick could get it. Excuse my language, y'all. Like, this person is a, a clown. And you a whole star here. A healer. You a fucking healer? A healer? An alchemist? An earth angel? A master manifester? A magician? An empress? A prophetess? A high priestess? A hermitess? Queen of Wands energy. Like, why this person playing? You could be an Aquarius, a Libra, a Taurus. A fire sign, a Virgo, whoever you are, you the motherfucking truth. You the motherfucking truth. And this person is trying to be in a palace with you. They trying to go to the promised land with you. They trying to have the palace of cups with you. This person could be trying to like um get into your energy, but it's blocked off. 
I told you, this person tried to transfer your energy to a karmic at one point. They're getting karma for that shit right now as I speak, as I give this message. This person is also trying to tap into your energy. They could be trying to spy on you as well. They keep getting blocked. They keep getting their ass whooped. They keep getting stopped. You got guardians here. Your protection is crazy. First of all, the way you showing up in this reading is fucking insane. This shit is incredible. You understand what I'm saying? This shit is admirable. And then on top of that, your protection is out of this fucking world, bro. Like this person need to go ahead. Eight of Cups. Pack it up, dog. This shit is over. World card. The world card, the Eight of Cups. Pack it the fuck up. Judgment got called in this situation. There is no beginning. There is no new beginning with this person. There is no passionate fresh start. There is no new beginning. There is no attraction. Like for some of y'all, you're not even attracted to this person anymore. You could have blocked this person. They Not only are they being blocked energetically, but some of y'all could have blocked this person in the 3D as well. Like, come on now. There is no new beginning. There is no passionate fresh start. There is none of that. And they know that, which is why they bitter. This is why they agreed to attack you in the first place or they stood back and watched like the bitch ass motherfucker that they are. This person's a fucking coward. They are sorry ass excuse for a man. This person is bitch made if you ask me. This person bitched up. They are fucking coward like I said. This person is nasty as well. They need to go fucking get tested for some STDs because that Knight of Wands in a reverse energy is somebody that can't even control their sexual urges, okay? Like I said, this is somebody that would give it out to anybody, which is why they vibrating so low in the first place. This person could even have an entity attachment. They could have a sex addiction. This person could be addicted to porn. Like, this, this motherfucker don't have no connection with God. Look how you showing up. This person don't have no connection with God. You could even be somebody that's celibate. And this person out here sleeping with everybody, everybody and their mama. God don't want you with this person. I don't give a fuck what kind of contract y'all was supposed to have. This person didn't get their shit together in time. They missed their fucking chance. Time is up. The boat came and, and left their ass. The bus came, they missed that shit. You understand me? Like, the fuck out of here. The per what, what this motherfucker think this is? Like, they could have just wasted all of this time sleeping with everybody, doing all this karmic ass, low vibrational shit, cutting up in fucking Babylon. And they think they about to come towards you and live in a palace with you, set up shot with you and have all this protection and all this good energy surrounding them and have God's grace and God's light on them. Get the fuck out of here. This person got another thing coming if they think they about to come towards you and finesse and live a good life with you. It's not going down. It's not going down. This person done lost their fucking mind. And homegirl over here just crying. She just so sad. Because she don't know if you're going to get tricked by this person or not. So in her mind, she could even be thinking that this person about to live a good life with you. But they not, sweetheart. You could stop crying. You could dry your eyes. You could relax, honey bun. Because even if this person walk away from you, I promise you my collective still don't want nothing to do with this motherfucker. This is a lousy nigga here. Excuse my language. But they are. Person's a fucking coward. Like, they're coward. They're a fucking coward. That person is a loser. And she over here worried. Like, you actually going to be with that person. The fuck out of here. <laughs> you don't want that motherfucker. Collective, you'd rather be alone than to partner up with somebody like that. Imagine being celibate for however long. And you're going to break your celibacy to sleep with an emperor in the reverse. To sleep with a distorted masculine. To sleep with somebody that could have, that everybody could have. Nobody wants somebody that everybody can have, bro. Man or woman. That shit is eternal. Don't nobody want to be with somebody that can have every that anybody can have. Like, get the fuck out of here. You're not exclusive. You ain't no fucking prize. Didn't I tell you this person got a sex addiction? I cannot make this shit up, bro. I can't make it up. We too tapped in. I told you this person could have a sex addiction or a porn addiction or some shit like that. Get the fuck out of here. And they think they bringing that, that community shit to you? And you supposed to go crazy over, over it? You supposed to bust tricks on that shit? Do a split on that shit? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This person think you but you supposed to lose your mind over that community shit. They gonna, they, gonna come, they gonna try to come in and sweet talk you. We got sweet talk in the reverse. I told you. This person is getting calmer right now. 
this is somebody that you could have even been um, supposed to have like a connection with, a real soulmate connection with. But I'm telling you, they didn't heal. This person's still suffering from some unhealed childhood wounds. This person did not heal, bro. They could be trying to do a love spell on you right now, and that shit is not working. That could also be another reason why they feel like they under psychic attack right now, and they can't shake the thought of you. This motherfucker can't stop thinking about you. Told you it's too late. It's too late. You don't even want it no more. I don't want it. When I wanted you, you played. Nigga, I don't want you no more. Now you just a memory to this person. You don't want this motherfucker. What I'm going to do with you? You ain't even who I thought you was. Empress, you could have had this motherfucker on a pedestal at one point, not even realizing how much of a karmic they really was. You could have been under some sort of illusion or some sort of love spell or some sort of glamour magic at one point before you truly raised your vibration and tapped into your earth angel energy. You could have really thought this motherfucker was like everything. Not realizing that this motherfucker is a true jackass. And they feel like a jackass now because it's too late to be with you. Yeah. This is a divine masculine in the reverse. My point exactly. And for some of y'all, this your twin flame. And you rejecting this person. This person going to try to tell you, oh, don't reject me because we twins. We twin flames, so don't reject me. We're supposed to be together. Oh, no, motherfucker. Because collective, whoever you are, when you try, when you try to tell them that, or when you, even if y'all didn't try to tell this person that, they knew who you was. But they was okay with betraying you because they knew that it was a lot of shit that they still was unhealed from that you wasn't going to put up with. This person took the easy way out. You know, m men that are lousy, that don't want to fucking heal. You understand what I'm saying? They going to always choose the easier route. They saying don't say goodbye to them. It's too late. You already said goodbye. But they going to always choose the, the easy way out. They going to always choose the easier woman. A man that's unhealed and unevolved and working out of his lower power is always going to choose the woman that he don't really have to do too much work for. That he don't really have to change for. You know, he going to choose the person that is okay with just accepting a bare minimum, if that. See, you somebody that required too much. You would actually require this motherfucker to open their eyes. You would actually require this person to heal, to raise their vibration. It's too hard for them. They don't want to do that. Why heal to be with you? When I could be with a karmic, when I could do whatever I want. When I could give into my worldly matters, when I could give into the earthly matters. When I could be controlled by sex. When I don't have no control over my sexual urges or my carnal nature. Why give that up? I don't want to give that up. I want to watch porn all day, choke my chicken all day, sleep with everybody, cheat on everybody. I want to do all the karmic shit I like to do. This person could be getting tarot readings done on y'all. I want to do everything I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I want to do whatever I want to do. I don't want to hit on. That's, that's why they try to even transfer your energy to this karmic you understand what i'm saying because it's on some shit like i don't want to change this bitch is not going to require me to change you know what i'm saying now this person saying they love you fuck out of here but it's like this bitch don't require me to change so i'm gonna stay over there you stay over there with homegirl she's not requiring me to change this person trying to do a love spell on you look at this shit i cannot make it up y'all love spell and i love you they mad because they getting exposed. Look how my car is falling. <laughs> love spell and I love you. This person trying to spin the block on y'all. This person can even be spying on y'all. I told you they tried to spiritually spy on y'all and they keep getting blocked. But this person could be trying to spy on you in the 3D as well. Or they could even be trying to uh, put other people up to check on you and report back to them what they see. This person's a fucking loser. This masculine is a loser. And it's your twin. This show motherfucking twin collective. And this person is two-faced. They jealous of you. It's like this motherfucker was low-key competing with you. Imagine. Imagine your twin flame turning karmic. Going rogue on you. Competing with you. Got a karmic bitch trying to compete with you too. Now they both losing. They both feel like two fucking losers here. I told you this person got options. They could have been pillow talking to mad bitches about you. And all these women know that you the shit. Trust and believe that. Another woman know when another woman is boss. You understand what I'm saying? These low vibrational bitches know that you the shit. They know you the real empress. These bitches be trying to copy you. Truth be told. You know what I'm saying? 
Like everybody know what it is. This person's a fucking clown. They feel seen, they feel exposed. They feel like a fucking fool. Trust me when I tell you. This is the dumbest shit ever. I know this person feel like a jackass. They simple and so are these hoes that they be fucking with. They all simple. Collective, whoever you are, you are above this shit. <clears throat> yeah, this person wishing for you. Told you they feel like a jackass. What did I say? What I say? <laughs> this person is wishing for you. Their wishes is not being granted. We got wish in the reverse. We got jackass here. This person is like, don't say goodbye to me. For some of y'all, you look at this person as a false twin. This person don't want you to have a new boo, but for some of you, you have a new boo. It's too late. They feel like a jackass because they know it's too late. It's too late for this jackass. It's too late. Pack it up, homie. Pack it the fuck up. 